The last and most monstrous of our categories, category four, repeated irreducible quadratic. We have an irreducible quadratic, this does not factor, and it's been repeated. Recall, if this is x to the second, we would need to have an a over x to the first, and we would need to have a b over x to the second. A similar thing's gonna happen here. Every exponent, natural number exponent, up to and including the exponent that's present, must be allowed for. But notice if this is quadratic, we don't use a and b, we use ax plus b. So let's, let's go ahead and fill out the partial fraction decomposition of this. So uh, we have 2x to the fourth. Let me go ahead and move this over just a hair. 2x to the fourth plus 8x squared minus x plus 8 over... All right, so we need to have an x... Since that's linear, this is, co this is constant. But now we need to have x squared plus 2 to the first, x squared plus 2 to the second. All right. And since this is quadratic, those need to be potentially linear. Now, it could work out that one or more of these could work out to be zero, which makes the, act, the rest of the problem much easier, but we don't know that going in, so we need to account for the possibilities here. All right, clear the fractions, multiply through by this common denominator, even though it's a denominator treated like a numerator. On the left-hand side, as usual, Everything cancels here, so all we're left with is just this numerator. So this implies 2x to the fourth, 8x to the second, minus x plus 8. Notice there is no cube term. There is no x to the third term on the left-hand side. That coefficient is 0. When you multiply here, the x's cancel. You're left with a times x squared plus 2 to the second plus... Here, this cancels with one of these, but one of them remains. One of these cancels with the x squared plus 2, but one of them remains. So there still is, and the x did not get canceled. So there is the x, and there is the x squared plus 2. That's going to take a little effort to multiply that out. Now, this one's not so bad. Because here, both of those cancel with both of those, and the x is the only thing that remains. So that one's pretty easy. This one's going to have some spine to it. And so if you multiply everything on the left-hand side, you need to FOIL this. FOIL. Don't just write this. If you write x to the 4 plus 2, I just, mm, you FOIL this and then distribute the a. So I'm going to, I'm going to actually show a little bit of this just, just to make sure your algebra is correct. If you FOIL this... You get x to the fourth plus 4x squared plus 4. Go off to the side, FOIL, bring it back. Plus, here, ignore the x. Go FOIL that, and then whatever you get from that, multiply everything by x to the, to the first. So when you FOIL, you get bx to the third, but you need another x, so that's bx to the fourth. Here, let me... Let's just do this. bx plus c. Let's just go ahead and distribute that. How's that? Let's go say x to the third plus 2x. I'll just do two steps here. Foil here, distribute here, and we can go ahead and distribute here and be done with this. dx to the second plus ex. Okay, so now we need to distribute and foil. Distribute and foil. ax to the fourth plus 4ax squared plus 4a, uh, foil, this is bx to the fourth, outside is 2bx squared, inside is plus cx cubed, and then last is plus 2cx, and then this is already multiplied out. Woo! That'll be enough for anybody. Now, I'm going to gather together all the x to the fourths, 
all the x to the fourths that are present. So there's one. There's one. I think that's all there are. That's going to be set equal to two here in just a minute. Now all the cubes. I need all the cubes. Cube. Let's see. There's no cube here. No cube. There's no cube. C. There's a cube. That's the only cube. So the only thing we have with the cubes is C. All right? Now we need the squares. Well, there's a 4A. Let's see about that. 4AX squared. Any more squares? My, uh, plus 2B. Any more squares? Plus D. And that's all there are of those. Any X to the first? X to the first. Any X to the first? There's 2C plus E. And constant, 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 constant. The only constant is uh, plus 4a. So, a plus b is about to equal 2. Those are the fourth powers. c has to equal 0. There is no x to the third power. All that mess has to equal 8. All that mess has to equal, be careful, negative 1. And then 4a has to equal 8. All right? And so let's see, if we solve that system, well, let's see, if we solve that system, I'm going to run out of space here. So if we solve that system, well, we know, well, let's, let's, let's generate the system first. All right. So we have A plus B, C, D, E, I'm going to leave space for all the other columns, is equal to 2. That's the X to the fourth. X to the third, the only thing there is C. It's equal to zero. Uh, X to the second, that's 4A um, plus 2B uh, plus D. And what's X to the second coefficient? X to the second coefficient is eight. Uh, X to the first, 2C plus E is equal to, what was that? Uh, X is negative one. Right, and then 4a. I'm going to run out of space. I'm going to well, I'll just write. I'll just kind of nestle it in here. 4a is equal to eight. So a is two. Let me. Uh, I'm going to gain myself some space here. You can you can rewind the video if you need to see what I've erased here, but. I'm going to gain myself some space. Here we have a is equal to 2. If a is 2, that guarantees that b is equal to 0. Right? Alright, b is equal to 0. We already have c is equal to 0. Um, if C is equal to zero, that gives us E is negative one. And what else do we have left? Well, we have A. A was two. So we have four times two plus B is zero. D is not, uh, D is D. And that's 8. And that gives us that, I believe, D is equal to 0. So if I've done this correctly, and there's no guarantee of that, what I have, A is equal to 2, B is equal to 0, C is equal to 0, E is equal to negative 1, and D was equal to zero. So according to my computations, that's, those are the coefficients, and I think that actually looks right. And so, let's go back to our decomposition that we had earlier. 
we know that 2x to the 4th plus 8x squared minus x plus 8 over this big monstrous. Okay, so what do we have? We had a over x. We had bx plus c over x squared plus 2. And then we had c dx plus e over x squared plus 2 quantity squared. And we found a was 2. B is 0, so that piece falls out. C is 0, that piece falls out. This entire expression falls out because both C and C, C and B are 0. D is 0, so that piece falls out. So all we're left with is E. E was negative 1. And so the antiderivative of this expression is that expression, so I shouldn't have this integral sign here. So what we want is the antiderivative of 2 over x minus 1 over x squared plus 2 quantity squared. That's natural log form. This, you're going to need to do a trig substitution. This requires a trig substitution. You need to rewrite this as 1 over square root, square root to the fourth power. And then that's a trig substitution. You draw the triangle like we did the other day and work that the rest of the way out. Now, I will give you, this is brutal. This is really going to be challenging. It turns out the antiderivative is not that horrific, but... One thing to be sure of, I am going to check to make sure you can do partial fraction decomposition. I don't need to give you some gigantic thing like this to find that out. I will keep you guys in the relatively shallow end of the pool whenever exam, exam day rolls around. But that's the procedure, uh, and, and all of this, almost all of this is algebra. The only piece that's calculus is once we find this, these partial fractions, that's the basic form, and then this becomes really challenging. This becomes quite challenging because uh, this requires this uh, trig substitution. This would have been much easier if this had been x on the numerator, because if you have an x in the numerator, then you, this is an ordinary u substitution. Let u equal x squared plus 2, and the substitution is exact. So, um, again, I'll keep you in the shallow end of the pool come exam day. But uh, that's, those are the four categories, and now if you practice the uh, homework, you should be able to get a feel for how partial fraction decomposition works.